Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to clone objects. Clone in 3D Studio Max is the equivalent to cut, copy and paste of other programs. Before start, you should have a previous knowledge about the generalities of 3D and how navigate the scene. For this, you can check my other tutorials in the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. Maybe note that in 3D Studio Max doesn't appear the functions of cut, copy or paste in the edit menu. Or that the keyboard shortcuts is Ctrl plus X doesn't cut, Ctrl plus C doesn't copy, and Ctrl plus V doesn't paste. Well, don't worry because, to make a copy of an object is pretty easy. All you have to do, is, select the object you want make one or more copies. Press the key shift in the keyboard, and hold it down. Now move, rotate or scale the selected object. Let's move this object to a new position. When you want to move it, this window appears. Here you have three options for clone or copy objects. You can choose between copy, instance, or reference. To make a simple copy, select copy and below it, you can set the number of copies, and here the program show with a new name for the new object, but you can change it, too. And click in the OK button, and is ready. This new object is a simple copy of the original, the other two options to clone an object, the instance and reference, allows relate the original and the copy. To see it, let's clone this object again. So, select the object, press the shift key on the keyboard, and hold it down. Now move, rotate or scale the object. To see it better, move it. And here is the clone window. When you select copy, the original object and the copy will not be related, it's just a simple copy. But with the other options, the original and the copy will be related. This means, that when you apply a change in one the other will change, too. To see it better, this time choose Instance. And click OK. And once more, select the object, press and hold down the Shift key. And move it. Here. When you want to move it. Appears the window, and this time, select Reference. And OK. I'm going to change the color of these objects to better differentiate. Now we have these objects. This is the copy. This is an instance. And this is a reference. When, I change something in the original. For example, the radius. The instance in the reference, also changes. See. But in the copy, nothing happens. When you make any change in the instance, like modify the segments, the original also changes. The reference also change, because the instance affects the original and when the original changes, affects the reference. When you modify something like the radius or the number of segments in the reference, the original also changes. But, the difference is noted when we apply modifiers to the objects. Selecting the original object, in the modify tab. And, applying a modifier, like. The noise modifier, that deforms the geometry of the object. And setting the values. We can see, how this affects the original, the instance in the reference. Even when we only apply it to the original. And now, if we apply a modifier to the instance. In the same way, draw the modify tab. Clicking in modifiers. And selecting, for example. Mesh smooth, that increase the number of polygons in the object. And set the values on this modifier. We can note, that any modification of the instance object also modifies the original object. But, if we apply a modifier to the reference object, in the same way, that I just showed you, clicking in the modifiers list, and, selecting bend, that help us to bend the objects, and set the values on this modifier. We can see, that this only affect the reference, but not the original object. In resume, any change in the original object affect the instanced and the referenced objects. Any change in the instanced object affects the original object. But any modification in a reference object doesn't affect the original. Remember, that you can copy objects, not only moving those, but also using the rotate and the scale tools. 
if you rotate this object while you are pressing the shift key on the keyboard. When you finish the rotation, the clone window appears. And you can choose if make a simple copy or an instance or a reference copy. And click OK. And it is ready. But the new object is in the same position in the original. To see it better, just move it. Also works if you are using the scale tool. Select the object. Choose scale. And now scale it as you want. When you end of scale, this window appears. The clone window. As always just select the type of copy, the number of copies, and click OK. And is ready. And if you click on the edit menu, and select the clone tool, or pressing the keys of Ctrl and V in the keyboard, you can make appears the clone window, and copy the objects. But remember that those, will appear in the same place than the original. So, maybe sometimes you don't notice. You can easily make several copies of one or more objects, or create things like walls, or formations, etc. Just select the object. And pressing the shift key, move it. In this window you can choose the type of copy and increase the number of copies. And click in OK. As you can see, the new objects are separated at the same distance than you of the first copy. See. And if you select all the objects and select the move tool, you can copy several times all the objects at once. While you are pressing the shift key and with all the objects selected, move it to a new position. And in the clone window, select the type of copy. And increase the number of copies as you want. And click OK. Now, we have several objects well ordered. See. And you can do it. Again with all these objects at once. The mirror tool, help us to create a new model that is an inverse image of the original object or just to invert the geometry of the selected object. Make it, is pretty simple. Just select the object. This time, we have here this table set. Making a copy of it, will be easier to see how the mirror tool works. Select it. And now move it to a new position. While you are pressing the key shift on the keyboard. Appears the clone window. Select copy. And OK. And, in the main toolbar. We can find the mirrored button. This one. Click on it, and this window appears. Here you can select the axis for the mirroring. X is already selected into the scene. In the second table set, the geometry has now inverted, draw it the X axis. C. Now, if we choose the Y axis, the table set changes. Now appears mirrored another direction. Draw it the Y axis. And, selecting the Z. The object turns upside down. And OK. To visualize it better, press Alt and X in the keyboard. C. But, we have more options. Just select the object. And click on Mirror, and. The the tenth Y option works to invert the geometry of the X and Y axis at the same time. And this is the YZ option. And this is the ZX option. Below it, you find this. By default, is enable no clone. But you can leave the original intact and only mirror a new copy. Just select the type of copy. A simple copy. An instance. Or a reference. And here you can offset the mirrored object. And to finalize, click OK. And is ready.